Hi everyone, Scott here, the CEO of Pillow, and in this video I'd like to take the opportunity to describe one of our principal philosophies at Pillow, and that is that every single property owner pays the exact same fee, regardless of how many properties they have, how special they are, or where they are in the country. And I wanted to explain why we do this, um, because any other way would really be disrespectful to those individual landlords. So I really want to explain this and take the time over the next few minutes to let people know why we do that. Now, as a general rule, we have two main management services at Pillow, the 15% service, which is marketing only, where the landlords do all the changeovers and all the operational side themselves, the on-site activities, and that's 15% plus but. The other service we do, which is full business management, Essentially, a landlord gives us a key, we manage their whole service accommodation or holiday home business for them, and that is 20% plus that. Now, when people come to us, they often see the 20% or the 15% and try to negotiate it down. Maybe because they're used to paying less, maybe because it's the first time operating a service department and they don't realise that there's a lot more management involved in operating a, a buy-to-let. So some people try to get the fees down and haggle. But for us, we need to keep all the fees the same across the board. So if we manage 2,000 units across the UK, they would all need to pay the exact same fee for the service that they're on. So let me explain why this is. So there's two main reasons why we keep everyone the same. It's disrespectful to clients. By giving people special deals, it's disrespectful to the people that are paying the top percentage. So for a few reasons. One, our property managers, as a general rule, are all commission only. So we set this up specifically to earn you, the landlord, more money. If we had to pay people a wage, then there's no incentive for the individual property managers to work harder to get you bookings. So, in that instance, if a property manager is commission only, and they're getting half the commission for your property, rather than the one next door, then they're never going to give you the bookings as an owner. They're going to give it to the bookings that pays, that earns them double the amount of money. So if you feel you only want to be paying 10% for the full management service, but yet your neighbour next door is happy to pay the 20% and is loyal to Pillow and put their trust in us, then it wouldn't make sense as a business for Pillow or your regional property manager to pass you lots of direct bookings. So at Pillow, a big thing of what we do, and we spend a lot of money getting direct bookings, and by direct bookings, I mean not bookings from the booking portals, the online travel agents like Airbnb and Booking.com. So we make a massive investment to get you this these direct bookings, which saves you the cost of say 15% for booking.com. So for us to spend that money, we're going to spend it in the properties that get us a maximum amount of return. So if we had to choose our Google AdWords budget or our Facebook ads, we would target the properties that would get the best return on investment. So all the money we're going to spend are on the people paying 20%. It would be insane of us to spend the same budget to get the same amount of guests for a property that earned Pillow and the regional property managers less. So if we keep everyone the same, everyone is on a level playing field. Now I'd mentioned that the regional property managers are committed only so they don't get a wage at the end of the month unless they get you a property let so this is the way we wanted it pillow this is the way I've designed the business I think this is best for certainly the regional property managers but really it's best for the owners because you know your individual property manager is going to go that extra mile work hard go to networking spend time online and fight for every single booking they get you now if our aim is for each property manager to have a group of a maximum of 50 properties and if they have 49 properties that are all getting 20% and yours was in 10%, who do you think they're going to pass the bookings to? It just wouldn't make financial sense for a property manager to lift, to get a phone call to say, I'm looking uh, for a six months let for a doctor at a corporate late to put it in your property. So let's put that in financial terms. If there is a thousand pounds booking and they've they've been on they've been to networking they've been on the forums they've been chatting and they've got a direct booking for a thousand pounds now they've two choices all things been equal and it's a they, they want a property just like yours but they have another one then that property manager could make the decision to put it in the property that earns them 20 percent i.e 200 pounds or 100 pounds by putting them into your discounted property so that wouldn't make sense for pillow it wouldn't make sense for the property manager and this is detrimental to you the owner so if every single property in that portfolio was the same commission rate let's like say 20 percent for that service then there isn't any 
there isn't any disadvantages to any of the landlords. We pick the best property for the person. So I'm sure that makes sense. So if you are that landlord that doesn't, that really, really wants to negotiate in fees, then it's a very simple equation for me. If you manage to negotiate the property managers down to 10% rather than 20, then you would earn less money at the end of the year. So the property managers being commission only means that they just simply can't, they need to put food on their table. They're not going to put properties, bookings into properties that earn less money, all things considered. Now, if we get a direct booking through a, a, a website and someone wants your property specifically, we would never take that guest away and put them in a higher yielding property but that isn't something we would do, but we never want to be faced with that decision. So if everyone pays for the full business management service, the 20%, then everybody gets treated on a level, a level playing field. And for us, this is by far the, the most, um, it's just the fairest way to do things. So wherever you are in the country, regardless of how many properties you have, regardless how special you are, and again, we do have really special clients, they're all, they all are, but it's just, there are people with us that have 10 properties and they pay the maximum rate. Very disrespectful to them for us to go behind their back and give someone else a special rate as well. So we do stand very, very firm on the fact that we charge everyone the same. And of course, this has caused some disagreements over the years. But personally, I know as a CEO of Pillow that if somebody got a lot less alert and was paying half the amount of management fees, it would equate to a lot less more money at the end of the year. Our promise is, for certainly the 20% management fee, is that we will make you more money than doing it yourself. So whether we charge 10, 20, 30%, it's, it's really irrelevant to you, the end user, because we take all the work away, we do it all for you, and we'll earn you our management fees plus a little more from doing it yourself, because we put a lot of budget into marketing properties. So if two new properties came on, let's say Glasgow, one was paying 10% uh, and they both got launched the same day and <coughs> the other owner was paying, excuse me, 20%, then we would, by nature of running a business, put a lot more money into marketing that property. We would definitely promote it on Facebook ads. We would put it in forums. We might go do some Google ads specifically for that, but more Facebook and social media. A lot more effort would go into the one that had double the amount of income for us because we know the more income we can get, the more we can put back into our overall marketing budget. We can go to trade conferences. We can spend more on online marketing. We can get the website done. We can get SEO. We can get money to get in newspapers to promote the properties. So it would really be selfish of me to put it into the lesser yielding property. So this is why we do stick to everyone paying the exact same rate. So I hope this makes sense. Again, this is done to be the fairest way for owners. Everyone paying different rates and chopping and changing bookings and you not getting the exposure and the effort that your property really deserves isn't fair. So everyone needs to be treated the same. They all pay the same management fee and then that's our best way. And I've tried and tested it over the last 12 years of how to structure um, these management agreements, but this is the best way for you as a landlord, I can promise you. So thank you for watching.